think I'm getting bored of my hair. You know how everyone loves their hair straight? I hate mine straight. Where to start, where to start, where to start. Hey guys, I'm back with another haul. Since the last haul clearly didn't turn out quite as planned. My hair is driving me insane today. I don't have a dress to wear at the wedding yet, but I'm hoping while in either Glasgow or Edinburgh, I know I'm pronouncing Edinburgh wrong. I know there's like a proper way to say it. I actually cannot stand my hair right now. Anyways, anyways, I'm gonna jump right in. I have a major haul from Lord & Taylor. It kind of accumulated over two trips so yeah i hope some of the stuff is still there they had a major sale so i don't know if things are maybe sold out or not i'm gonna start off with something that if you follow me on instagram you absolutely have seen this and if you check my blog at all you've seen it it's the most recent fashion post i'll have to rebutton it and this piece is something i got and i was originally unsure i remember i saw it on the hanger and i was like no that's never gonna fit me right no jumpsuits ever really fit my body right because i'm so short um, but this one's kind of like a crop the pants are cropped and it's free people and i have like a huge love for free people a good amount of this haul is free people it has spaghetti straps and a tie that cinches at the waist and these wide legs on the bottom it's one of my favorites i've already worn it twice once to shane's graduation and to a day trip to Philadelphia. The print has, it's like a cream color and then it has all these warm tones in the detail and like these pops of blue. You can wear it with flats to dress it down. I think it'd be perfect to wear to work with like a sweater over it or to a barbecue or a birthday, really anything. But when it comes in other colors as well. Next is another patterned dress, Sword and Taylor's Design Lab. It's off the shoulder and has sleeves. It's a black and white floral print that has two slits on each side of the bottom. This I've also worn twice already and I know I'm gonna bring this on vacation, but if you saw the Father's Day vlog, I wore it on Father's Day, I wore it to a graduation party. Um, it's very comfortable, it's perfect for summer. Those brutally hot days because it's thin and it's off the shoulder and it's super cute. Super cute. I mean, is that the best thing I have to say? Jeez. But I wore it with a red lip, which was nice because it kind of dressed it up. And then if you, you can just wear it as like a day dress, daytime, or you can end up dressing it up if you'd like. Those are the two like dresses or jumpsuits I have. Next, I'll move on to skirts. And this is also free people. And at first, I was, like looked at this and I was like, that's nothing I would wear. It's too colorful, it has these like ruffles. The colors are really striking, which I thought would be nice for summer, and I really like the blue. It's asymmetrical, which I've really been loving lately. Anything that's asymmetrical, I think it gives it a little like edge and personality. I saw it and I planned out an outfit the instant I saw it. Next is another skirt, but a denim skirt. I think it's great that this denim skirt trend is coming back. So I remember in middle school, I used to wear the like distressed, cut off Abercrombie and Fitch denim skirts all the time. I mean, obviously now they're a bit more refined and everything's done in a little different way, but the fact that I'm wearing things that I wore in, you know, fifth grade, even I remember fourth grade. So the next piece I got was this army green Hudson cut off denim skirt. It's really simple. It's the Vivid Mini Skirt. I know everyone's like, oh, it's summer. Why are you buying jackets or sweaters? And because I'm going to Scotland and England, it's gonna be really cool in like the northern part of Scotland. So that's one reason. And two, they were on sale. And on really cool summer nights or like after you get sunburn, I love posing up in a nice sweater. Two of them are free people. I love free people sweaters. Oh my gosh. These, I fell in love with it has a really low cut so you can either put it off like a shoulder or wear it straight on this one still has a tag on it so it was $98 and now it's 51 and then they had some other you know like promotion going on where there was another like 25 and I got it in black as well because everything needs to be in black you know it just goes with everything and this I actually might wear with this, the next sweater I got was this plain white ribbed DNKY sweater. 
It'll look really great either tucked into a skirt or shorts. So basically this is a summer haul, but it's like majority sweaters. And now I'm moving on to jackets, so. This next jacket I actually am very excited for, okay. I always dog pink, but sometimes, you know, blush. I, like, when I dog pink, I don't like hot pink. You will rarely see me wearing bright pink, but this like blush color, especially when it's like mesh, with this gorgeous floral embroidery. I actually wore this on top of this bodysuit while I was in Virginia Beach. Gives your outfit a little more texture, which I love. Last but not least, this super distressed denim jacket from Honey Punch. I don't really know that brand, and it says Fearless on the back in this retro looking patch. I heard this girl saying like, as I was checking out, she was like, oh, I loved that jacket, but the patch on it, I don't like in the back. And I have been collecting patches and I don't have a denim jacket to actually like put them on yet. So I was thinking I could either put a ton on this one, since it already has this one on back, or I'll just leave it like this. I don't know, it's a lighter denim. I really have mostly like dark, or black or white denim jackets. This is like a nice, a light wash blue denim. Yeah, I don't know, I like the patch on the back. I mean, maybe it's a little corny, but it could say something worse. Plus when your hair's over it, you don't really read it. And this was also on sale. I already wore it though, so I ripped the tag out. Um, sorry if this try on haul, I didn't really get the best shots of the clothes. I'm somewhat in between packing because I leave for Scotland and you know me, I'm waiting until the day before which is possibly the horrible thing to do, but thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, we're almost to a thousand. I'm super excited. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in my next video. No one cares.